Good evening, I'm Teresa Smith. I'm Lori Tucker. Thank you so much for joining us. We are on your side tonight as the community mourns the loss of Blunt County Deputy Greg McCowan. We've been covering the funeral and procession for McCowan since midday. Six on your side, reporter Molly O'Brien is live at Severe Heights Baptist Church and was at the funeral with more on the celebration of life. And Molly, who did you speak with today? Yeah, a truly touching funeral service. We opened up with a prayer at the funeral service and then the national anthem. Governor Bill Lee was one of the first people to speak and he talked about how there were several members of the Tennessee General Assembly at the funeral service, including Lieutenant Governor McNally and uh, Speaker of the House Sexton. He talked about how appreciative he was for Deputy McCowan's service. Um, service to the community, service to his family, service to his friends, and how we are forever indebted to the sacrifice that Deputy McCowan uh, laid down on the night of Thursday. Take a listen. Greg McCowan is a hero. He is one of those who have chosen to put their life in harm's way to serve the people of this state. And you are the ones who suffer the most today because of that decision. We are the beneficiaries of the heroism of your father and of your loved one and of your son. He is a hero and a law enforcement official and a leader to all of us in Tennessee, but to you, he is a dad, he is a son, he is a loved one. And for you, this goes way beyond just being a hero. So there you hear Governor Lee several times throughout him speaking at the funeral service, calling Deputy McCowan a hero. But something that we were able to take away from the funeral service is his friends, Governor Lee, and uh, the share of speaking and really humanizing who Deputy McCowan was. We knew Deputy McCowan as a deputy sheriff. We didn't know who he was so much as a person. And there you heard Governor Lee speak about him being a father. He was a grandfather, a son, a fiance, and a friend to so many. So a really, really touching tribute from Governor Lee and a, a, an emotional service um, to say the least. But we're continuing coverage tonight as the community continues to support and show their support to Deputy McCowan's family, his friends, and the Blunt County Sheriff's Office. Naomi Helmer is outside of the Blunt County Justice Center, part of the procession route. Naomi, what can you tell us? Thank you, Molly. It just, the procession over here by the Blunt County, sorry, the Blunt County Justice Center has now clearly wrap it, wrapped up. There are very few people out here now. We just caught the tail end of it, but we saw a lot of people out here were really mourning the loss of Deputy McCowan. We saw lots of tears. It was very emotional and very quiet for such a busy intersection as it is on a usual day. You could hear a pin drop when you were waiting for the cars to come past us. They are making, or they have made their way to the Grandview Cemetery where the family is paying the their last respects at the grave site. That's where you'll find WATE six on your side reporter Don Dare, who spoke to members of the community who were at the service. We are at Grandview Cemetery, the final resting place for Deputy McCowan. We're in Maryville, just off of Tuckaleechee Pike. It's about a mile and a half from the Blunt County Sheriff's Department. It's quiet here absolute silence and behind me police vehicles from all over the state continue to drive into this cemetery they've been proceeding into the cemetery for the last 20 25 minutes hundreds if not perhaps a thousand or more vehicles uh, the blue tent is behind us you can see it in the distance that's where the private service is underway right now uh, one, one of the musical groups who will be performing Amazing Grace is from the Knoxville Pipes and Drums, and we spoke with them 
earlier today. Let's listen. In memorial, in memorial, several family members um, are in law enforcement as well as myself. I'll have 17 years in uh, April, and my husband is a retired Knox County Sheriff's Deputy also, and it's just very near and dear to my heart. And here you are paying tribute to a fallen deputy in another county, but Absolutely. it doesn't matter. No, we're all one. Even the Pipers, we're all one family. How difficult is it to play this instrument when you see those family members? Extremely difficult. But you know why you're doing it. You're doing it for future. You're doing it to let everybody know the respect that you, you pay for this fallen officer, what he did for us. You know, it could have been anyone else that died at that time, but it was him. He took his, they took his life for us. So we have to honor him. And this is very simple to do compared to what he did for us. What will be going through your mind as, uh, as the instruments are played and as you bang your drums? Yes, it, it's a, a mournful tune that we'll be playing, but it, it gives us peace as well. We will see um, Greg again someday. So we're very, very happy to do this for the family and for the community as well. It's never easy though. No, it is not. And you feel for that family? Yes, definitely. They're from our community, actually. The, um, all of the victims of the shooting um, family lives in the area that I live in, so it's very close to home. Just seconds ago, we heard the 21-gun salute and the distant funeral that you can see going on in front of us here. Taps is being played at this moment. It's very difficult for us to hear it, and of course difficult for you to hear it. And in a moment, the pipes and drums will play Amazing Grace. Lori and Tirsa, back to you. Wow. Oh, Don, thank you so much. Yes, we are keeping our distance out of respect for the family and their wishes. That's right. Um, it has been a very somber day, but a very fitting tribute. Uh, to Deputy McCowan, where so many reflections were given, and many of those folks knew him very well. Many did not. You had a lot of dignitaries in town um, who were just thanking him for the magnitude of the sacrifice he gave. Yes, they were, and you saw people lining the roadways uh, for the procession today. Mm -hmm. But, you know, really, this is a statewide thing, and even national. Right. So many people know about what happened here and have sent in tributes and messages of support. Uh, today, Governor Bill Lee ordering flags to be flown at half staff to honor Deputy McCowan. The governor, as we mentioned, spoke at the funeral today. What you're looking at there is video from the state capitol in downtown Nashville. In a tweet earlier, the governor said, quote, Maria and I continue to lift his family and loved ones up in prayer. On the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives Tuesday, Congressman Tim Burchett honored McCowan, offering his condolences to loved ones left behind. McCowan was known for being a loving man and a brave officer. His family was the light of his life, Mr. Speaker, and he loved them dearly. His fellow deputies knew that they could count on Deputy McCowan when he was serving alongside them. One of his colleagues described him as one of those guys you always wanted on your side. Congressman Burchett also praised the efforts of Blunt County Sheriff James Barong and the other law enforcement officers, including the U.S. Marshals Service, who helped catch D. Hart, Kenneth D. Hart, the suspect, so he could be brought to justice. 